My name is Chet Davis and I am president of ESA, developers of the Easy Power line of power system software products. Today we want to show you the fastest, most accurate software for designing electrical power systems. Easy Power Smart Design automates the design process to a simple mouse click, eliminating hours of work and frustration. As you can see from the screen, I have a typical secondary unit substation and distribution system common to any industrial or commercial design. This system took me less than two minutes to create in Easy Power. Now what I want to do is I want to take a look at some of this equipment. If I double click on this breaker, you can see that we don't have any breaker information entered from the library, so it's completely blank. It has not been sized. It has not been um, tampered with. That's the same with the transformer. It's completely blank. No KVA rating, no force cooled rating. The impedances are all blank. Conductor information is all blank. So the only thing we know about this system, if we zoom in, we can see that we have entered an end use load for the motor control center, an end use load for the panel, and the other MCCs and panels. So if I want to um, design this system per any C code requirements, all I have to tell Easy Power by highlighting the system, we just right mouse click click auto design and it will automatically design the system and you can see we're using a generic style sheet it designed the system and picked the specific breakers the specific conductors um, bus bar information and so on transformer was sized to 750 kva in this instance down here 75 kva let's take a look at uh, some of the information reports we get from this if i go to window auto design report you can see that it gives me a detailed report of exactly what equipment it designed to what were the design parameters such as secondary full load amps code factor amps um, that type of information it will also tell me if I scroll down to uh, certain types of equipment such it, it will give me the NEC code parameters that it designed to such as NEC 430.94 and uh, NEC 240. So it will size all the code, um, all the equipment to code. It will give me the NEC code design per, um, parameters and um, it documents everything for your design. It will also flag you if there's any warning levels that it wants you to check or if there's any um, error um, information such if if you entered um, improper data or something like that, it will completely um, document that for you. Let's take another look at a, a report. This is called the Bill of Materials Report. And what it does in this case is it documents every piece of equipment in the design. In this case, we chose a 200, uh, 750 kVA transformer, oil, OAFA rated, and here's our approx approximate cost. 275 kVA units. Here's our switchboard that was selected and all the breakers in the switchboard. It even tells us um, what trip functions that they have. So this is a complete generic specification that we can go out to bid for, bid with. Um, it gives me my switchboard bill of materials, my panel bill of materials, how many at 208 volts, how many at 480, if they're three phase, three wire or four wire, number of circuits, main lug only or main breakers, um, MCC bill of materials. If we scroll down a little farther, um, it gives us all our conductor information for both phase, ground, conduit sizes, and then we get a complete um, estimated equipment cost. I'm going to um, close those down. Now let's take a look at this system. If I double click on this switchgear lineup, you can see that we designed for a switchboard. Maybe we want to change that to a switchgear lineup and um, see how that works. So I'm going to highlight my unit substation, right mouse click, auto design, and here's a complete system design with low voltage power circuit breakers. Let's go to our bill of materials and see how that affects things. As you can see, here's our bill of materials for the low voltage power circuit breakers with the various um, solid state trips, short time, instantaneous, and ground fault and costs. Now, we, if we go to the uh, bottom of the screen, you can see that jumped our uh, cost from about $89,000 to $143,000.
All of these reports can be exported to Excel, Word, OpenOffice, simple right mouse click, ex export to Excel, um, Word, OpenOffice, or we can copy and paste or print or save. Everything is Microsoft um, MXML compatible for um, lightning fast file transfers. Let's take a look at another function. Let's say we want to design for diversity. If we double click on this, go to our switchgear lineup, and we um, change our diversity to 2. We click OK, and we redesign. Right mouse click, auto design. Now you can see with a 2 diversity, We've stepped down from a 750 kVA transformer to a 500 kVA transformer. And when we go to our bill of materials, scroll all the way down, our cost has dropped to $138,000. So we can do any type of what-if comparisons with just a few simple mouse clicks. So this is key in the automated design process um, in easy power. As you have just seen, Smart Design automates the design process to a simple mouse click. EasyPower users continually report cost savings up to 5 to 1 over competing software products and design methods. I invite you to learn more about Smart Design with a comprehensive live interactive webinar. Go to www.easypower.com to schedule a detailed webinar or call 503-655-5059 and ask for sales.